This video was brought to you by Patreon. Help support future ES repair videos by becoming a patron for as little as $1 per month. As a premium member, you'll get the latest news, special offers, questions and answers, recognition and videos, early access to new videos, channel recognition, behind the scenes, and more. Show your support by joining ES Repair on Patreon today. Hello, I am your host, Mr. Fixit, from ES Repair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Windows recovery drive with the newer laptops. Uh, laptops that were built since 2013 now use what's called a Unified Extensible Firmware Interface or UEFI. And their process is a little bit different, not much, but slightly different. And I'm going to walk you through on how to create a Windows 8 or 10 uh, recovery drive using this type of platform. Now, if you have the traditional ones, or the legacy that was built prior to 2013, um, I do have the link to the video description in the video description to show you how to get to it. Now, to do this, you're going to have to have at least a 32 gigabyte uh, memory flash card or a USB memory stick uh, or an external hard drive in order to create this Windows recovery. Now to do this, what you'll do is, for Windows 8 users, you can press the Windows key and the letter S key, and that will bring up the search box to where you can type in something to search. For Windows 10, it will bring the Cortana up. And what you want to do is type in Create Recovery. drive and you'll see the option at the top and what you want to do is go ahead and click on it now this will bring up the following message uh, you're going to make changes blah 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 yes uh, you want the recovery media creator to make changes so you'll choose yes Now you're going to see this window pop up. Now this is just like the previous video I did. Uh, this part here doesn't change, so I'm just going to briefly walk you through it. Uh, what you need to do is make sure that you do have the backup system files to the recovery drive checked. And what this will do will back up the data, uh, your Windows system files and everything to the recovery drive. So in the event that Windows can't boot up or Windows is corrupted, then this can be used to restore Windows uh, back to normal oper um, operations. Next, you want to do Next. Now, you're going to see this, and it's going to take a few minutes for it to prepare, and then you'll come to the next screen. Now, once the process is completed and it is ready to create the recovery drive, you're going to come to this screen. Now, as you can see here, I do have an external hard drive connected. And I'm going to use this to show you how to create this recovery drive for these types of computers for Windows 8 and Windows 10. So, you'll just select it. It's going to and then choose Next. Now, you will get the warning. Uh, it will let you know that everything on this disk will be erased. So if there is nothing you want to keep, then go ahead and choose Create. And then it's going to begin the process. Now this will take some time. It will take probably anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes, maybe longer, depending on the speed of your computer. Once the recovery drive is ready, you will come to this screen and this is going to let you know everything has been completed successfully. The next thing you need to do is go ahead and choose finish. The next thing I want to show you is let's go ahead and test your new recovery drive and show you what it's going to do, what it's going to be like. Now to do this uh, you'll go down here in the lower left and you'll want to right click on the Windows icon 
and then you'll want to go to shut down and restart or shut down or re, uh, sign out and then you want to choose the option to restart now before you restart what you need to do is hold down the shift key doesn't matter which one hold the shift key down and then click restart and you should see this on your screen once you see this let go of the shift key now you should come to a screen like this and what this will do is choose an option and what you want to do is choose use a device and then it's going to ask you um, which device you want to use and what we want to do is use the USB drive when the recovery drive boots up you're going to come to this screen just select the keyboard layout that you need and you can also use your mouse and then you're going to come back to this screen now you'll notice it looks very familiar now in the event that your computer cannot boot up um, and it tries to repair itself you should come to another screen that says that it started repair was unable to resolve the problem so you want to go into an advanced options and it will lead you back to this screen again and what you want to do is use this to use a device in order to boot up uh, the recovery drive now once the recovery drive is up you'll come to this screen and what you want to do is go down to troubleshoot now here you can go from the recover from a, device, a drive uh, which will reinstall the Windows operating system from the recovery drive which is the one that we're booted onto now it will remove all the files in your app so if you want to re uh, restore Windows 10 if you have to uh, if nothing else works then you want to make sure that you get your data off the drive uh, you can use one of the videos that I had uh, previously done for Minitool uh, it will come in handy if you have to recover your data before you restore the operating system now some of you will also see a recovery manager uh, that you see here uh, in my case this is for HP you may have one different depending on what you have which is a recovery manager uh, this is the backup and recovery uh, for my HP computer to allow you to recover or your computer or what they call a factory reset your computer but that's just a last ditch effort if nothing else works then this would be your only options uh, that you can restore your computers back to health now you'll go down here to advanced options here you'll see system restore which allows you to uh, restore from a previous point in time uh, the restore point uh, the go back to previous uh, version what this does is now from what I've heard lately I haven't gotten the complete details but the newest update that's come feature update coming out this fall is causing some problems with computers this right here allows you to go back to the previous version of Windows uh, since the update um, and what it does is the update for some reason caused problems and this will allow you to go back before the update system image recovery uh, this allows you to recover windows using a specific image file uh, you can use this if you've got a image file created um, over here which is the startup repair now if your computer already did the startup repair and you're having to go into the advanced options as I mentioned earlier this right here probably won't do any good because it already tried now here you're also going to see the command prompt now if you watched my previous video I did a uh, the system file checker and introduced uh, the deployment image servicing and management tools uh, that helps you to be able to repair Windows uh, system files and that will allow you to restore them from this recovery drive now hopefully in later videos I'll be able to show you exactly how to do all this and use the recovery drive but right now I just want to show you uh, the basics on getting into the setup in case you ever have trouble with your computer not booting up Windows well I'm your host Mr. Fixit 
Thank you for watching.